Hey guys, Steve Welch here at Bima Toyota in front of a beautiful new Tundra here. Uh, a few guys have asked me to show you the panoramic view monitor system and why it's different on the Tundra than what like a bird's eye view system would be on something like say a Highlander. It's, it's a different system. You get a few extra things in the Tundra. We'll mention that the Pro is just a, a touch different than this, uh, but the vast majority of you this is the system that you're going to see uh, and chances are if you got the pro you probably already know what you have so first off what i'm going to show you is that you actually have two cameras up in the back right there um, and those are one of those is the uh digital rear view mirror camera which is not part of the panoramic view system but it usually seems to be on there with it um, but uh, then you also have the other camera that's slightly angled down. That one looks at your bed. And I'm gonna show you how it does that. But that's, that's one of the cameras that you're gonna have. Obviously, most people are gonna know you have your backup camera right here. There's also a light back here when you're backing up. Uh, that can help you too, it's an LED light. You also have cameras down here underneath. So you have a camera there. And your nose camera along with the other camera on the underside of your mirror right here so those are where the cameras are but how do you engage the system better yet what does it look like follow me inside i'm going to show you guys all right so one of the reasons i'm doing this right now when it's a little bit darker out is to give you guys a better view with my camera of the screen here so um i've had bird's eye view and stuff like that and sometimes people say that uh it's a little bit harder to see my screen I'm trying to rectify that let me know what i did uh put it in the comments if you like it better this way so you're looking for this button this is your view button all right so if you hit this button you're gonna see that it's looking all the way around the car. So now this is a representation of the vehicle. You're going, it's not black. I know it's not black. I'm gonna show you how to change that. But uh, it's a representation, but the vehicles that are on either side of me over here, those are right there, all right? So I'll hit this again so you can kind of see, uh, just take a, a better look here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and you, like I said, it'll it'll zip all the way around for you, give you a plate. You can have it look a little bit different too if you do this. It'll give you a slightly different view, right? So it's just kind of showing you, it'll just do a pan around and then it's gonna come to the top of the vehicle and show you the top of the truck. So you can get a little bit closer here. Very easy to, you know, use this and then it comes back off. You wanna change your color? Hit this, all right? So this one is, dark color so what do you want to find you want to see which color you, i mean whatever color you get you can change this right so closest is probably right here right so that being said you can x out of it you go back into your map or whatever you're in hit this button again you'll see on and off now there is a difference and i'm gonna show you the difference so if you are in reverse and i'm gonna put this in reverse now you get all of your additional views and if you look you can see you can you know tap this and you can get different views up here of what you what you might want to see right um it's now you can't just like sit here and go to you know an exact or whatever but you're you kind of get an, an area this right here you can see that's your backup line for if you're going to a hitch it tells you the line to follow on the tongue of your trailer um this is obviously just if you want to have the up view over here that turns that on or off this boom looking at the bed right now this you can see it shows you what you're looking at so i'm looking back side to side right and then this you've got it where you can actually zip over and you can go to one side or the other or stay in the center forward right so now i'm looking forward you see the front wheels on either vehicle and if i go and i turn this wheel you'll be able to even see you can see the wheels turning one way or the other in this truck by doing this right now you can do this this is going to be just your straight camera right and then the backup camera it's all right there so you set what you want to see now an important button is this button right here this auto button so if you look right here, that auto button is gonna be very, very important to whether you turn that on or turn that off. 
if you are below seven miles per hour, it will turn on your front view camera if you have it on auto. If you don't, then you have to actually hit your button. And I'm gonna show you how that works. We're gonna take a drive. I'm gonna show you how that works right now. So if you look when we're going back here, you can see as you get close to something, as you're backing up or that, you can hit it. Now I'm gonna go forward and you see I've turned off the auto, all right? So with the auto off, it, it doesn't automatically turn on, right? Hit reverse, it will turn on automatically for you, right? And you'll see that while you're in reverse, you can just come through and hit that button, right? Now what's gonna happen as I go into drive now, you can see it's showing me forward. So then as I go forward, I can change the views and go, I wanna see my bed. Right, so now in auto, it will actually shut off once you get over that seven miles per hour or so, it will shut back off. So, but even if you're over that, you know, if you pop over it and you hit your view button, you can still see what you were looking at, right? You can see certain pieces, you can see you know, whatever you were trying to see, of course. And then it'll just, you know, sometimes it'll come up, sometimes it will go off. It just depends on how fast you're going. And, you know, like I said, you're not going to sit there and drive with it just constantly watching your bed, right? As you, you know, change speeds or go around or stuff like that, it's going to shut itself back off and turn itself back on as it, uh, as you uh, just, as you drive, right? So just kind of showing you a peek of everything that you see here while you're driving. If you want to pop it back up, hit your button. You'll pop it back up, but it's just, it won't stay up for like, you know, like I said, you just can't leave it on where you're constantly watching the back. As soon as you actually add some speed or that, it's going to do that. Now, if you're going slower and, and even if you're a little bit above the seven, but you're going slower, but you're kind of maintaining speed, it seems to last a little bit longer. So I'm not sure the exacts on that but it's just it stays up for a little bit longer if you're doing that for for some reason but that is the panoramic view monitor right so I'm just kind of showing you and then you can you know just kind of come through and spots are pretty tight here but you can see as i'm pulling in here and then if you're going oh well i want to see both sides of the front here and then you can kind of watch the lines and you can see the lines right all right, I'm, I'm within the lines here, or maybe I want to look a little bit more forward and see a little bit closer on how I'm getting where I'm going, you know, and double check the back, double check that. I hit my park, right? And I can come back through and I can hit this again and I can see, you know, how well I parked within the, uh, within the lines there. So it's just, like I said, it's a representation of the truck you're driving with everything else around you from the camera. So that is your panoramic view monitor in your Toyota Tundra. Steve Welch, Beam of Toyota. Hopefully that helped you guys out. You guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.